What's up guys, it's me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to week 8 of the Pokemon Premier League Bolt Division. This week we are up against Jay Ricky and the Gigaton Hammers. It is the last week of the regular season. Unfortunately, after taking over from Padel and the Glasgow Gliscors, we are unable to proceed into the playoffs. Which is no biggie, because I already knew that when I took over the team. It was more that I just wanted to get back into the feeling of Wi-Fi Draft Leagues. Um, as I mentioned, we're up against Jay Ricky and the Gigaton Hammers. Um, looking at the schedule and the standings, he is currently in contention of the playoffs. So if I do want to have some kind of say into who gets in and who doesn't, I definitely can do today by winning this game. Um, Jay Ricky is currently 3-4 and four, um, with a kill differential of 2. So he is definitely well within range of being able to get him into those playoff spots. He just needs to be able to win against me, um, which obviously we're going to try our hardest not to let him do that. Um, if you do enjoy the video, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe. That would be hugely appreciated because there will be more Wi-Fi draft content on its way in the future. But for now, I will let you go back to Past Jack, who will go over the team and of course the battle. Going through the teams this week, you can see my draft at the top of the video and you can see my opponent's draft at the bottom. The six we have chosen to choose, uh, sorry, to bring this week is the Inteleon, who is the Overhaul Wellspring, Hariyama, uh, Houndstone, Sizzle and Gliscor. So not too many changes to last week in terms of the six that I have brought, um, but there's definitely a lot of different sets this time compared to what there was last week. One thing that I haven't changed too much is the first Pokemon here, which is the Inteleon. Um, I am running another Scope Lens Sniper set. This thing has got the potential to wreak havoc against my opponent's team. Um, I don't necessarily know if he will expect me to bring this again. Um, my video for week 7 hasn't gone live yet, so he won't have seen me use it last week at all. Um, but I am running Snipe Shot Vacuum Wave Ice Beam Shadow Ball. Um, it's really good coverage for my opponent's whole entire draft. As you can see, the snapshot is going to really hurt the Ursa Luna. Um, the Ice Beam is going to help against the Enamorous. The Shadow Ball is going to help against the likes of Mew and Monkey Dory. Vacuum Wave is there for a potential late game cleanup, as well as something to actually hit the Empoleon, which is the best switch my opponent has. Even then, if they're not especially defensive Empoleon, then a critical hit snapshot will still do about 40% to it, which is wild. Um, so this thing can kind of freely click snipe shot and then I can kind of take it from there. Um, it's most likely going to be the lead for me this week because it does have such variation in the moves it has. It can hit quite a lot of my opponent's draft. Um, and everything else is kind of quite a defensive check uh, this week. So it will give me some good momentum to start with. Next is the Ogapon Wellspring. It's just a fully offensive for us uh, physical attacks this week. We've got Ivy Cudgel, Play Rough because my opponent does have Decidui and he does have um, the Haxorus as well. This kind of again gives me some really good coverage for the whole entire draft of my opponent. Um, power Whip's just there for all power, U-turn is there for momentum. Obviously this week I haven't got Flip Turn or U-turn on my Inteleon, so I haven't got as much momentum building moves this time round. And Play Rough is there obviously as I've mentioned for everything else. Stats are there just to make sure I can outspeed Monkey Dory. I outspeed the rest of his draft naturally anyway, other than the Greninja. Next up is Hariyama, which, talking of Greninja, is one of my best checks for it. So I'm running Assault Vest with Guts, Drain Punch, Knock Off, Heavy Slam, Bullet Punch. My opponent does have an Amorous Ferian. I am running enough speed, so I outspeed a good speed creeping in Amorous. I know my opponent does like to try and do that. So I think the speed in this is going to help me catch the switch uh, to an Amorous, which is definitely the best answer he has for Hariyama. And then obviously I can then outspeed it from there, or potentially click Bullet Punch if I do get it in range of that. Knock Off is just Knock Off and Drain Punch is there to help the longevity of the Hariyama. Next is the Houndstone. I am running Max Physical Defense Fluffy because this is the best answer I could possibly have on my draft for Ursa Luna. Guts Ursa Luna with Earthquake will still do up to 52%, which is why I am running Citrus Berry because it would proc me into a position where I should live any hit. That means I can then either click Body Press, there's some Chip, which will put it in range of Ivy Cudgel or Snipe Shot, or I can click Destiny Bond um, if I feel my opponent is going to go for that kind of killer blow. If he's running Headlong Rush, then that is affected by Fluffy. Earthquake is not. 
which is why I'm particularly worried about Earthquake for once and not the uh, Headlong Rush. Otherwise, again, it's going to be helpful with the Decidueye. I know Decidueye gets scrappy, um, but its moves are going to be physical contact moves, so again, the Fluffy will come in huge there. Next up is Sizzle. Um, I kind of had to bring Sizzle this week because my opponent does have Spy Dots in his draft, and I didn't really want to face against webs. While my team isn't necessarily the fastest this week, Inteleon and Ogapon have such great freedom against my opponent's draft. Uh, if I can keep away the webs or get rid of the webs. Um, so I kind of felt like I had to bring T-Fog. Bullet Punch is there because Bullet Punch is obviously a staple on pretty much any Sizzle set. We also have the U-turn there for some momentum. And then we do have the close combat should we feel that we can attack the Ursa Luna or also the Greninja. Finally, um, oh, and I also made it slightly bulky as well. Well fairly bulky but it's ultimately quite offensive because at this point I kind of think I needed a bit more offense other than just two water types and finally I had to bring Gliscor um it's the last week after taking over for Padel and the Glasgow Gliscors so I felt like it was only right and actually naturally Gliscor was one of the best answers for Monkey Dory on the entire draft um I do obviously have Scizor as well which is immune to the poison and resists the psychic doesn't appreciate Focus Blast, obviously, which Gliscor can appreciate all of those, other than maybe the Psychic. Um, but I'm running Gunk Shot, which is tech for Enamorous, because otherwise Enamorous comes in every single time on this thing. And I don't really want to kind of give them a free um, opportunity to get a Weakness Policy, Agility, uh, some kind of Double Down set, anything like that going. Um, so Gunk Shot is there for that, and it's also there for the Decidueye as well. We do have to protect, obviously, for toxical healing and to activate it if we need to. Spikes is really effective against my opponent's team this week. Rocks weren't too huge, but if I can get one or two layers of spikes up, then that's going to really help the end game, especially with Vacuum Wave potentially being able to clean up the likes of Empoleon and Ursa Luna. Um, although I outspeed Ursa Luna naturally anyway. And then Earthquake is just there for, for stab damage. Obviously, it can hit the Empoleon. Um, and just hit other things for, for neutral damage that Gunk Shop doesn't already hit as well. So that's the six. Let me know what you guys think of the team this week, and we'll move on over to the battle. Okay, guys, we're here for the battle versus uh, J. Ricky and the Gigaton Hammers. Let's just start searching. Um, I should have already gone over all of the other stuff already. Um, you shouldn't be waiting as long as you were last time, because I know for a fact that J. Ricky is actually now searching and ready and available. So, um, this man's draft is genuinely absolutely terrifying. Um, let's see, so there is Ursa Luna, Greninja, if I can spell, uh, Enamorous, and Podium, Mew and Desir, Dewey, I know it's Desir if you want. So his Terramons were Clawth and the Hissurian Typhlosion, so there's no Terrors coming, which is good. So there's no Monkey Dory, which I'm quite surprised by, um, but um, this man's draft, in my opinion, completely screws mine. Um, so I'm not overly confident about this game, if I'm completely honest, um, but you know, it doesn't mean anything. Um, there's no real effect for me from this. Um, I've got 30 seconds, so what's a generally a good lead here? Like, I think anything, Inteleon does okay against a lot of things here. Um, so I think what I'll do is, I will, Inteleon's one of my main answers for the uh, Luna. So if I'm not confident, then I'll have to switch out and keep that thing alive. Um, Houndstone is my answer for that thing. If he's running Earthquake and he has Guts Burn, then I'm stuffed. Um, I have got the Citrus Berry to help me live two. So if I can get some chip on the Ursa Luna, that'd be really good. If it's like some kind of bulk upset, then fuck me, I guess. Um, I'll just have to suck something off until Inteleon can kill with Snipe Shot. So good luck, Ricky. Um, I should probably say good luck, have fun to him. Uh, although he even told me to have fun, not actually good luck, so. That's Mew. Uh, what is this man going to do? This man could literally do anything. Um, I am running Shadow Ball this week. 
he could set up rocks, he could try and set up uh, Dragon Dance, Swords Dance, Nasty Plot, he could Thunder Wave me, and Vacuum Wave, which might be really useful for us in the late game. But also, I don't actually have a lot for new. Um, so I think I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball. I think this man's leaving me because he's going to want to set up hazards. I did bring Defog on Scizor because this man has obviously got um, Spy Dots with Sticky Webs and I really didn't want to really get screwed over by Sticky Webs. So we are faster, so that's good. Shadow Ball, is it going to be a crit? It is a crit. We Oko. That's huge. Um, it's not a 6-0, so uh, lucky and bad, I guess. Um, Ball. I can picture now what J. Ricky is going to be yelling at his switch because, quite frankly, that's bullshit. Um, so that's the new one. I think I outspeed everything other than Greninja on his team. Um, Empoleon is his switch. He goes Empoleon, I go Harry on every day of the week. And at that point, I think Heavy Slam is quite free. Mew, Mew is a huge threat for me in prep. Um, and the crit might also hide the fact that I'm not specs. I might just think I'm specs. He's gone Luna. Now, this thing. It's not burnt yet. So, he might think I'm choice specs. So, I'm going to click Slime Shot. I think that's why he's gone into Luna. He might pull a double to check and see if I can switch my moves. But if I can get this Earth Luna low, then. I'll take this trade. But now he knows I'm not choice. That's so low. Um, he clicks Body Slam. Do we live? I feel like we should. Yeah, we do. No power either. Um, and he has leftovers. So, do I get to snipe shot for free here? Do I click Vacuum Wave in case he goes into Empoleon? That snipe shot crit. Do anything on his team will do a lot. So I'm just going to click Slime Shot again, because this man can't take the hit. Um, this is already a dream start for me. I do need to check though. Sidui. Um, Sidui. There's a Grass Fighting. So yeah, it's not Ghost. So Vacuum Wave for late game is going to be huge. Um, and the fact that this man isn't Guts means that my um, Houndstone is actually going to do very little. Um, so he does withdraw. He's going to go into the. He goes into Empoleon, which is what I thought he would do. Now let's see how much this does. Um, I could put back and wave and make this guy's life completely miserable. It's a crit. So let's go to the defensive pivot. Uh, let's click Empoleon. So snipe shot, critical hit. Done. 40%. He can't be max special defense. He could be, it could be a high roll for non special defensive. So vacuum wave does 21 to 25%. If I crit with vacuum wave, I don't kill. Um, so I'm going to switch into Haryama, which is my switch in every time against this thing. It really cannot touch me. Uh, this thing doesn't have scald anymore. Um, I think I get to freely click Heavy Slam with this thing. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so Harry Ever does come in with Surf, she do next to no damage. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot at all. Um, I feel like they switch in Amorous. There's, he's so far behind at this point. Like, what does he do? So, because he's not going to stay in with Empoleon against this, there's no chance. I don't think Ursaluna will live a heavy slam and a bullet punch. Um, he could go to Sidri or Ninja, but I don't think they would appreciate the chip. So I am going to click heavy slam. So this is going really well so far, really well. I think I don't know if Ricky will tilt or not. Blocks in here is the Anamorous. Okay, good. So I have got lots of people in this area. So much damage. His weakness policy, he's not weakness policy. How much would a bullet punch do to this thing? Um, 
into uh, what's this one? This is in Amoris. In Amoris. And then there's Varian. So Heavy Slam did not do 72 to 86%. So Bullet Punch will not kill. But what this does mean is he's either not got max, and he's got a lot of HP and defense investment. So I think I'm quite free to click Heavy Slam again. I am, and I am thinking that's fantastic. Um, this battle's going way better than I could actually hope for it to go so far. Um, I need to keep Harry Arm alive, because it is the answer for Greninja. So he goes into Decidueye. Right, okay, so now I'm going into my... Uh, what do I go into here? I don't know what this thing does. This is my issue. I'm not familiar with this thing's... Um, what this thing does, because I haven't played Mons since this was a thing. Um, but I'm going to go into my uh, Houndstone at this point because it's my it's my Ursaluna answer, but Ursaluna is kind of dead at this point. So he does triple arrows. Um, oh, he's scrappy, isn't he? But that does do, that does nothing because um, I am fluffy. So I could Poltergeist here. I have Destiny Bond obviously for um, just like last ditch things. I'm just gonna get Poltergeist. Yeah, he's got Ursaluna, but I will. Outspeed, he knocks off. Okay, that's fine. It's just my citrus berry that's gone. Um, so I will click Poltergeist. Let's see how much this does. I'm not attacking this one. Attack invested at all. So he's rocking off. Okay, so he's going to be a bolt set. Is he going to go. He's not going to click knock off again. So I think I've got a free switch into my Gliscor at this point. So I'm going to go into Gliscor. And I have got the Gunk Shot, which was for the Enamorous. Um, doesn't really matter now, which is a shame because it's some cool tech. Um, he clicks triple arrows, so that's fine. And we'll get the Toxic Orb, that doesn't do a lot. Defense drop, he gets the crit, and he gets the defense drop. I don't know if the defense drop is guaranteed or not. Um, but we've got the Toxic Orb now, which is great. Do I really get a spike up? The Enamorous is dead, so I can chop that off. Um, do I gunk shot? Here, thinking that chip will do a lot. How much will I actually do? Okay. I kind of wish I had a huge shot was 44. No, I'm only now rest up. Um, Decidui. Let's just pick the basic. Gunk shot was 41 48%. That's even if you have defense investment. So I could click spikes here. Um, he could SD, which is terrifying. Let's click. Uh, how long have we got left? 15 seconds. Let's click the gunk shot and see how much this does. Okay, we outspeed and hit. That's great. That does good damage. Um, he roosts. Okay. So he's probably going to roost until I miss a gunk shot. Um, I could get a poison, which would be really nice. Let's click gunk, gunk shot again. I call that miss. I, I was due because I've, I've had so many crits so far. Just triple arrows again. Um, doesn't do a lot to me. That was a crit again. And a defense drop, of course. Um, if I need to reset the... Um, if I need to reset the debuffs, then I can just like, swap into the um, thingy again. He does reach this time. Um, I think I'll protect here. I just don't have a lot to deal with this thing, which is annoying. So I'll protect here. It's going to scour what I've got. So he does trip arrows that time, which is great. Um, poison heal. I think I could probably go into Houndstone and Destiny Bond. I'm going to click spikes, because we're kind of at a stalemate, so I can protect on the next turn. And setting up these spikes will actually really, really make this helpful for me. Uh, it's going to, so you click roost, predicting the gunk shot, which is huge. 
That is actually huge. Um, so I could just put up another layer of spikes here, I think. I'm going to do it. Um, let's set up this layer of spikes. I don't think he's got sword stars, because he'd have clipped that by now. He's got roost, triple arrows, knock off. And something else. The triple arrows are doing not a lot to me, despite getting all these defense drops out of that, because that one's not true. Okay, so what's his last move going to be? Um, let's go into handstone here. Now, do I naturally outspeed? Is that phase 60? Uh, phase 68, so this is not a lot of speed. He won't outspeed me. Um, so let's click Destiny Bond. Reveal the tech, see if he is faster than me or not. He didn't get the defense drop, which is nice. Um, so as long as he doesn't crit me on the next turn, Destiny Bond's looking good. Gliscor is looking really well. Gliscor is only useful for this Decidueye at the moment. Um, and he's already used three roosts. So he's going to run out of recovery eventually. Is he going to... Is he going to actually just let me... He might be Sucker Punch. You know, so he is... Click Triple Arrows. He is faster. So he has got Speed Punch. So no, no, no. Click Destiny Bond. Um... I think he's now going to have to switch, and he can't, like, it forces him to not attack me or to switch, if he wants to keep this thing alive. And Imponon, Greninja, and Ursa Luna are all weak to body press, so I'm just going to click body press. So something takes a lot of damage, or dies. So, uh, I don't know what it's going to be. Uh, Empoleon. Potentially. After spikes, uh, I don't know how much this does. Okay, so he's, he's trying to... Um, doesn't kill, but... Do I... Just... Click Shadow Sneak here? How much does Shadow Sneak do to... Um... Okay, it's... Got max HP. Shadow Sneak is 13 to 15. That's just got no defense. I don't think I need this thing anymore, so I'm just going to click Sneak and see if this kills. Just in case he had some kind of defense investment. Okay, he didn't. That's absolutely fine. He gets rocked up, so that's not a problem. Although, Greninja could potentially try and set up uh, the... What's it called? That ability that I've forgotten the name of. So, how am I going to play this? I still have my Hariyama. That is my switch in. So I'm going to just... I'm going to body press because I, I don't know if this thing's faster than me or not. He's not. Okay. So, I kill the Empoleon, which is great. Uh, so, I'll stay Empoleon. And what else got I kill? Hariyama over. Um, so I'm putting on down. I have to go into Hariyama if he goes into Greninja. Um, I don't know if rocks will kill me at this point. Okay, so going to see. Is he going to sword down? Uh, we know he's faster, so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to look at Destiny Bond. I don't want to think about it. So he knocks off. That's fine. That kills me. Um, Ogre Pond is kind of free at this point. Um, so hang on, let's just put down. Destiny Bond. Ogre Pond. Stone. So, Houndstone's down. Hariyama has to stay healthy, so I'm not going to go into that. Ogre Pawn, let's switch into you. Um, if Greninja's Bullet Punch and Vacuum Wave should be able to kill Greninja, I would think, if... Um, I, I don't want to miss this play run. That's my fear. But you, you can't switch into it. Um, I think the spikes with Vacuum Wave and Bullet Punch would be enough to kill Greninja, even if it does. 
let's go plus one across the special stat. Okay, we hit the player up. That's huge. Um, he has Rocky Helmet, we know that. He goes for the triple arrow. Ivy Cudgel will be safe here. Like, that's not going to live. So I'm going to click Ivy Cudgel. I don't want to miss the player up. Uh, it lives. It lives. He does roost. Okay. So I had to go for the player up. Um, and hope and pray that it kills. Um, I just realised that the country doesn't actually take back. Okay, we hit the player up. That's huge. And the CGI goes down. Okay, I think that's game. Because the Ursa Luna cannot run anywhere. Um, uh, Descent. UI. So is this the Greninja? I'm not letting this thing get any kind of boosts going. So I'm going to switch into the Hariyama. If he has extra sensory, he has extra sensory. That's absolutely fine. Um, we'll find out if he's protein or if he is. Um, he clicks Ice Punch. He's actually physical. That's interesting. He's a little Ice Orb and he's not protein. So I'm going to click Bullet Punch here. I think it's just a matter of weakening this thing. Uh, so Harry, I'm going to do Oh, you battle bond. Uh, let's just assume we haven't got any. I mean, Bullet Punch does like 10%, so that's an extra life or a bit of chip. Um, you're physical, so I'm going to put Bullet Punch. Just to get the chip. And then I think Inteleon. Vacuum Wave does 39 to 47. Um, there's liquidation. That's fine. Uh, ninja. Um. Got what's called cool. Ninja over Harriana. I was not expecting physical. Uh, if I'm completely honest, um, we're going to go into this thing. I suspect we can probably take a hit. Um, on the battle bond. The only issue I have now is if he has water shuriken. Um, so let's hit bullet punch because he can't switch into us Luna. So we click bullet punch. It does a lot of damage. It's 100% in vacuum wave range now. Um, liquidation kill. It doesn't. So this is where we'll find out if he has got the uh, what's it called? The water shuriken. I don't think he will. I think Scizor has got this game in the bag. Uh, so we'll click bullet punch again. He does have to watch it, so actually that's really good to know. Um, what I'll have to do is, is I'll have two sides of the Gliscor to this thing. And then I can kill the Asuna uh, with, uh, with Inteleon. And that should then be the game. Should be. Uh, unless this is a master choke here somehow. It's 100% dying. So I could just, there's not much point in it, I can protect, I'm just going to click Earthquake. Um, I don't think Differential is something I can really protect here. Okay, Ninja, it does Ice Punch me, it will kill. Ninja, Hariyama. Hariyama, sorry, Ninja over Gliscor. Gliscor uh, dies to my Orb, and then uh, Inteleon will lift the rocks. I will outspeed Luna. If it lives, rock the, the spikes that is. Um, and that should then be the game. I am going to click Vacuum Wave because I don't know if this thing gets any priority. I don't think it does. It does live, but it's 100% Vacuum Wave range. So I'll click it, and that should be the game. It is the game. Excellent. So that's a 2 0 win. That's another crit. So Inteleon was what? Five moves that clicked, and four of them were. Three, four moves that clicked and four of them. I can't, I can't math, I can't speak. I'm just surprised I won that game, if I'm honest with you guys. Because um, I really wasn't looking, you know, forward to uh, <laughs> to um, playing that game because the Ursula was scaring me. But I think because I got on such a good start with with Mew, it really put Jay Ricky on the back foot from the get go. Um, so yeah, that's that was the game. That was a 2-0 victory for Norwich City. 
And my brief stint in the PPL Bolt Draft is over, because that's the end of the regular season now. Um, so we actually finished on 3-5 and five after taking over a team at 1-5, and five, which is really good going. That really bodes well for me uh, next season. Um, whatever that might be, I end up going into. Hopefully, I will be able to get into a Wi-Fi league at some point, because I've, I've kind of got the itch for it again now. Um, here I was retiring four years ago, or however long ago it was, swearing never to come back to this, and here I am doing it all over again. Um, so thank you for watching my brief stint covering for Padel and the Glasgow, no, the Glasgow Gliscors in the PPL. Um, I have enjoyed it, and hopefully you guys will stick around for future Wi-Fi battles. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.